Well, here's a live look outside on this Friday night as we have a wintry start to our weekend. If you're looking for something to do to keep you inside and inside away from the cold, then you may want to get down to the IX Center because the Cleveland Auto Show has made a big return. Sure has. Doors opened just over an hour ago, but lucky John Kosick's been checking out those cars all day long. John. <laughs> Rob, this is one of those what I call and I get paid for it days. We're here at the auto show and this is an event that I have circled on my calendar each year, but even more so this year. Let me show you what's going on. We're at one of the new features here at the auto show. This is Bronco Mountain, an all new test track featuring the all new Ford Bronco, meaning for the first time we have three test tracks going on inside the IX Center. It has all the traditional up, down, sideways features. Even it's got water and sand features joining Jeep and Ram for the test track. Let me tell you something else we're talking about here at the Auto Show. Electric. All of the automakers are featuring their electric vehicles and their electric uh, hybrid plug-in models. But this is one that caught my eye, this blue F-150. This is a Lightning. This is an all-electric pickup truck. And why it caught my eye, they were talking about it earlier, that you plug it into your garage, and in the event that the power goes out in your house, you can reverse the power and you can use this thing to power your house. So this is a particular model, Rob, that I, I signed you up for. So you will be getting some brochures on this one. So very cool, John. Uh, how are supply chain issues affecting the availability of cars at the show? Yeah, that's something I talked to all the automakers about today, and they're all dealing with it. There's no question about it. All dealing with it in different ways. Some of them are delaying their 2023 model line, so maybe later in the season, so they can have more vehicles to get into the hands of consumers. Uh, but they all say they are getting there. They are improving. Just the consumers need to be aware. Maybe the colors you want, the features you want won't be there, but they feel that, especially by the end of the year, the cars will be there. Okay, John, thank you. And I'll take one of the truck behind you. Thank you. Reverse power to my house or my truck? Exactly. Love that. <laughs> now, despite the struggle to keep inventory on dealership lots, an auto show fan favorite found a way to bring a little extra bling this year. News 5 anchor Mike Brookbank gives us a look at some of the glitz and glam along Millionaire's Road. They're four-wheel rides with six-figure price tags. Cars that are over a million dollars just for one vehicle. Lining the Cleveland Auto Show's Millionaire's Row, brands like Aston Martin. Bentley and Rolls Royce. They don't typically participate like a brand like Subaru or Mercedes may. Dan Ritchie's Cleveland Auto Sports started displaying the cars many of us could only dream of owning back in 2013. We're not here to you know try to sell more cars. That's not the point of it. It's more to give the people uh, of Cleveland you know an opportunity to sit in them, see them you know, and, and have an attraction for, uh, for the auto show at the IAC Center. Typically the auto show locks in about six of these high-end vehicles. I think right now there's looks like at least 15 in here. The extra elegance this year. We're seeing something that we had never seen in the past. Comes as new cars remain in short supply. People have shifted and they're looking for cars to buy and all of our new cars have been bought up. So now you're looking at the used car market as you know a secondary source and it's actually sometimes more expensive than the new cars. With used car prices up a whopping 20 to 30%. They're really skyrocketing in some of their pricing. The industry now turned on its head. So we're calling people from two, three years ago we sold cars to and we're paying more uh, for their car on tray than what they bought it for. Through all the challenges to secure that new car smell. Typically that doesn't reflect on the exotic market, but right now it definitely is. Richie is getting asked one question over and over again. Can you find me a deal? Uh, the deal right now is if I can find you a car. A problem that no matter the price point is expected to stick around for a while. Cleveland Motorsports has already sold cars through its order bank that won't be delivered until mid to late 2023. Reporting in Cleveland, Mike Brookbank, News 5.